Hi, once again, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. Once again, everybody, I have a custom built computer that a customer built, and it's not posting. The customer claims that the, the light, the red light, one of these, I'll call them dummy lights, is sticking and is stuck on the CPU. These lights give you codes, one for RAM, one for CPU, one for a VGA. They're meant to give you a general idea of may the, the post process may be getting uh, stuck on, which would give you somewhat of a general idea of where a problem might be on your motherboard or on your computer. However, you cannot solely rely on those lights, that is for sure. Seeing how that it was stuck on CPU, this customer kept uh, removing this heatsink and reseeding the processor. In other words, she removed the processor, put it back in. That's something she read online to do. She's done that several times. She's also had several other people who know a fair bit about computers take a look at this build and tell her that everything looks just fine with how it's built. So she thinks there is a processor problem with this and she's went ahead and ordered a processor. <laughs> and during that time, now that she's waiting on the processor, she's gone ahead and brought me this computer so I can confirm that it is indeed the processor. This is the state in which this computer was brought to me. AMD build. I'm not sure what video card that is, uh, but it's, it's obviously an NVIDIA. Tough gaming. Um, these weren't plugged in. I assume she had these plugged in while she was trying to boot this. I think the, the actual cables are down here for that. So we'll just assume that she had these plugged in. I'm sure she did. I know the first thing that anybody who knows what they're looking at, the first thing you see is the placement of this RAM. That is the incorrect configuration. Um, this, yeah, this, this one here should be in this slot here. So you have one here in the first slot and one here in the middle slot. So obviously that's wrong, but, um, ha, ha, ha. let me kind of show you this. Look at how the memory is sitting in the slots. Oop! I see pins. How about that? And look here. That is not locked in. That RAM is not completely seated down in there. I haven't investigated why. This is the first time me looking at it also. So that's Definitely a sign of why this computer is not posting, but let's have a closer look at this uh, heat sink here because she was, you know, hell bent basically on the fact that the processor is having problems to the point to where she even ordered a processor. She's using this uh, Be Quiet Slim CPU cooler, which is okay. I think she's got a um, a Ryzen 5 in this so that cooler will most likely be okay but now I was I was looking here to see closer look at that at that CPU here and I'm going look very closely at that processor Let me go like this here can you see that You can actually see the processor. I can get a better look at that for you. It's kind of hard. That heat sink is not mounted correctly on that processor. It's off to the side. It really is. Uh, a matter of fact, 
probably gonna go ahead and take that fan off so I can give you a closer look. You can see that this, the uh, heat sink is not mounted correctly on that processor. <laughs> well, that might be a problem too. However, it didn't, it never really posted. I have a feeling it may have something to do with that RAM not being seated. Um, as a matter of fact, even the second RAM stick is not locked into place. So both of those RAM sticks are just not seated correctly, um, which may be her whole problem about why she's not posting. So I'm not just going to willy-nilly power this thing on, but you know, without uh, first correcting those two issues, I'm going to get this seated back on there how it should be. I'm going to get the memory put back in how it should. But but then I look closer and what what really that's the power supply and I says I asked the customer why is the power supply not mounted in the case oh the screws didn't fit the screws didn't fit so they were just they just they were gonna leave it like that uh, so sad, so sad. Uh, and it's one of those really small power supplies too, so I'm not so sure about that. Uh, we'll take a closer look at that. You can tell it's a, one of those really small form factor power supplies. Of course, we have the bracket here to mount that power supply in with, but I'm not so sure about that power supply either. First things first, let me go ahead and investigate all of this and get it corrected. I might go ahead and get the power supply mounted how it should be. And once I do those two things, I get the power plugged into the video card, fire it up and see how far we get. I hope there's, hope she didn't do anything wrong with the processor, but we're gonna see how that looks once I pull this off. Okay, so let's just go ahead and Gracious boy, they got that on there tight. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I think there's no need in it being that tight. But okay. No harm done, I guess. Let me see if I can get this off here. There we go. There's the CPU. Now look here. Uh, you can see... Here, obviously, you can see how it's longer on this side than it is on this side. If I look straight down on it, this should really, this is upside down. Look at that. They had this upside down in here. It needs to be flipped over and put in the grooves like that. To where it doesn't slide so that was a big mistake okay at least the at least the wrapper it and on the plastic isn't on the bottom we'll set that aside thermal paste looks okay you know just for the heck of it i'm going to remove the processor and look at the pins since i'm here Okay, quick look at inspection here. Yeah, everything looks okay pin-wise. So that's a good sign. But in situations like this, you have to check. Okay, now let's take a look at the RAM and see what in the world's going on here. Like I say, it's not even locked in. wasn't locked in. It's in the correct orientation, but it just wasn't pushed in all the way. Now, I don't know whether at one time they did. I'm going to put these in the correct slots. 
This is a Vengeance RGB Pro. This is a 64 gig kit. Let's get this put in here correctly. You should hear two clicks. Let's see. One, two. Two clicks. This one's not even seated in all the way. Like I say, it's in the correct, at least it's facing the right way. So they got that part right. They just didn't push it down far enough. Click, click, two clicks. Yay. We're looking okay on the thermal paste. I might add me just a touch more. It's going to spread it out a little bit here. Really thin just to cover up some of these spots that look a little dry. Then what I usually do with these, I'll go ahead and place this properly in the middle as it should be. Line up the brackets there. Let's get the screws put in. Okay. Excellent. Fan header plugged in here. Oh, they're missing a motherboard screw here. Yeah, she's only got one. She wants to double up, I guess. Video card plugged in properly once again. Okay. Well, let's flip it back over here. This is how everything should be mounted now. The, the CPU is properly being, uh, the CPU cooler is properly mounted onto the power, onto the uh, CPU. The RAM is in its proper slots now. Video card's plugged in. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's got an M.2 down in here. Pretty sure. All right, let's, let's uh, take the back panel off and we'll go ahead and get this power supply mounted how it should be. Okay. Well, there's our power supply just floating around in here. But look at the power supply she has. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's one of those small form factors. Um, it'll work, I guess. This is really meant for smaller cases. It's 850 watt. I see it is. So she's got a bracket. I, and I don't really know why. This makes no sense. Oh, let's see. So we got to mount this on there. Right, so now we got the bracket properly installed on this. I'm going to check to make sure these are plugged in correctly. That's to the motherboard. Motherboard is a 24 pin is what that is. This is PCI Express slash CPU. PCI Express slash CPU. And I did see this goes there, there, around. Okay. Okay, she's got one PCI Express plugged into one rail here and then one CPU power here. You really should have two separate connectors or cables for your GPU, but well, I don't have the cable, so I don't have any choice but to let that slide. Maybe I'll we'll just slide her back into here. And yeah, get her get her mounted in here properly, and we'll go from there. Okay, I now have the power supply mounted properly in this case. We're going to get it flipped back over and we're going to give it a shot to see if this baby will power up. That's right. There's your, there's your power supply mounted good. Got everything kind of plugged in. The PC now, power supply is on. All we have to do now is press the power button. Power is on. I do see the red light she's talking about. Oh, and the red light went out. Red light's back on. You might be trying to recognize the processor. Give it a minute, red light's back off. Fan speeds are changing, that's a good sign. Red light's back on, red light's off. 
Fan speeds are changing. Now we got a white light. And now we got a post. White light again. Come on. Green. <laughs> well, that's it. Now we're in BIOS. That's a Ryzen 7 5800X. Oh, yeah. 64 gigs of RAM. Oh, yeah. Temperatures are looking good on the processor. 30 degrees Celsius. Yep. That's it. That's it, everybody. So this is going to wrap this one up, everyone. It just goes to show you really have to pay close attention when you're building your computers. Make sure everything is seated properly. Don't always go by the dummy light that's on, the, on these motherboards either. They're meant just to give you a general idea. This thing is up and running. She'll be glad to know I got it up and running for her. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. See you soon.